Hey guys, this is Adam Lane with PocketNow.com. The other day I recorded a video demonstrating how you can get the Samson Vibrant to hang or slow down while it's running the media scanning process in the background. I got a lot of feedback from the commenters saying that this is not how you're supposed to boot up the device and log into it. So we're going to try to do it the right way this time. Now here's where it gets tricky. Right now you see at the bottom it says sweep screen to unlock. So if I were to do that right now, it would be very slow and unresponsive. We have to wait for it to finish its background processes before we can log in. So let's wait. What do you guys think of the weather today? It's pretty nice out here. Anybody do anything fun? So any minute, we should see some status notifications. Of, oh, there we go. Media scanner running. So it's doing its, uh, and then it's done. And now it's off. Okay. So now it should be all finished with that startup process. Nope. Oh, it's doing it again. Okay. Come back on. So now we should be able to log in and everything would be safe. Okay, there we go, right right to the home screen. Pretty responsive. Now let's uh, do some button mashing. Search comes up right away. Good, home. Let's open a program. Loading. Back. Swap, swap. Application tray. Loads up. So that's much more responsive. But the problem with this video is that that's not showing any multitasking. I had to wait for those other applications to finish processing before I could use the device. So the lesson to be learned here is that you should let those processes finish because they're going to take up a lot of CPU usage before you interact with the device. So now that that's done, everything is very responsive. And there we go. That's the correct way to boot the Samson Vibrant. 